How's it going, bros, hoes, elders, and younglings? This is Shade here, and welcome back to another episode of Beyond Two Souls. This is episode 14. Hope you enjoyed the previous episodes. Uh, we're getting really into the storyline now. We're at the uh, mission called Old Friends. If you've missed the previous episodes, you must go back to understand the storyline. Um, in the last episode, we found out the reason why Jody had run away. And, um, why she hates everyone. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to continue on. Uh, we're doing old friends. Look at that autumn scenery. Looks so beautiful. <sighs> My God. Jody. My little princess. Oh. God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. Not sad and lost. Like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And I was hiding. Oh, yeah. Oh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I, mean, I had no choice. Um, let's see. Cop. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. Dawkins. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Um, discreet. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known fella now, would it? <laughs> What'd I talk to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Um, father. The father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. Uh, where? Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital. Just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. Uh, why? My mother's been in a... In a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Really nice scenery, great backgrounds. Are we in uh, New York? Hey. Hey. 
You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. That's a great what, great little story filler there. That that very beautiful. <laughs> I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. <laughs> Girl, I ain't waiting in no car. <laughs> Well, she's grown all her hair back, so it has been a while. She's still got her ass, which is very nice. She must be like 24 now. Try the polite approach. Get some every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Um, evade. Maybe we can go without authorization this time. I mean, maybe we can just come to some kind of an arrangement. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Okay, so it didn't get him this time. What next? working on it. I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, we don't know what room she's in. I'll find out. Nora Gray, seventh floor, room forty-three. Wow. She can see through that uh, through computer screens. So far, so good. I love it when you can see through computer screens. See what people are writing. <laughs> Okay, here we go. There must be some. What am I looking for? Damn door. What am I looking for? I can see you, Aiden. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> Ooh, that's freaky. Um, some way to open this door. Um. 
Why can't I see it? Sacrifice your life to save this crazy world, Jody? <laughs> what the hell? Seems like they're all in connection to Jody. Oh, too far away. Too far away. Um. Is it the cameras I've got to get rid of? Oh, there's one here. Sorry this gets pitch black sometimes, guys. I'll... Oh, here we are. Oh, he's too far away. Too far away. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Jesus. Crazy foot really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? We mustn't neglect anything. We have to study the smallest detail. We'll have a big problem later on if we neglect the details. Oh, no, don't worry. Fucking weirdos. Wait a minute. Did he just walk off without me? Yeah, just don't worry about the poxy cameras. Jody, I'm here. I'll wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in.
It's me. Judy. This might be dodgy. Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Let's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! So David, quickly! Please! Get the baby I out of here! See her. Please, let me see her! I want my child! Please, let she me see her! She may develop some special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. <laughs> Sorry. Assholes. I'm sorry. It was my fault. you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Heartbreak him. Stay. There's something I'm missing then if
Having a touchy feely moment, and then these assholes turn up. Great. I won. I won. Pull me. Probably hasn't drunk in a while, so that's good. Alright, let's have a look around. Where are we? I think we're at the PDA. Or DPA, is it? Is it DPA or is it PDA? Ah! <laughs> oh. I know where we are. I fucking know where we are. Doable. Whoa. Can we go through that? <gasps> Whoops. Turn around right now. No, no, no. What the hell? Yes, yeah, DPA. What the hell is this? I love the animation of how, like, when she walks about, she looks behind herself and things. What the hell? Condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. Jody, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. This is cute, but I'm worried. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use either. Nora. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Cole. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Uh, truth. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. Oh, yeah, she's 24, by the way. <laughs> but 
how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Bitter. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. Because we're awesomeness. <laughs> According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and the other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. With this operation, we'll gain time to better understand the infoworld world and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. Well, I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the Infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. He can fuck off, Clayton can. He's a fucking idiot. It's good to see you. No, it's not. Fuck off. Uh, looks like Aiden remembers me. Keep your distance, Ryan. Aiden is even less forgiving than I am. Right. All right. Well, pause right there. Hope you enjoyed, guys. <laughs> God, this is getting good. We're probably coming up to the end now. I uh, don't know how far, but it's going to be awesome. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and favorite if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to become Broho Eldra Yelling today. Thank you for all the support as per usual. Don't forget to leave any comments or criticisms or constructive criticisms to help me out because uh, 
Yeah, it's all, it's, makes my content get better for you guys. That's what I'm doing this for, so, yeah. Uh, so, like I said, if you really enjoy, uh, don't forget to subscribe. So, yeah. I'll definitely, definitely get uh, the next episode up ASAP, but that's only if you get a bunch of likes for me. <laughs> Alright, hope you enjoyed again, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I make. So, I'll see you all later.